This weekend, I got stuff in the mail for my Titan, and I've been itching to test it out. And while it's a little windier today than I would really like, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the tests anyways. These are stock Titan rockets on a unmodified Titan itself. I'm gonna be doing 20 pumps, one rocket parallel to the ground. The other uh, is going to be uh, angled, obviously. Nine, ten. 20 pumps in the Titan, full power, and uh, this is parallel to the ground. Not bad, but not fantastic. Second rocket is going to be angled, obviously. And um, I'll show you why I'm doing these tests in a second. Second shot is angled. Thud. You know, good ranges for a Titan, but uh, not the best. So um, a little earlier, there was a uh, there was a Kickstarter project for the real Drac Draconis um, of Nerf Haven that was making rockets, and I finally got mine. And I've been dying to test these guys out and see how they do. So um, I'm going to be doing the same type of tests with these, uh, parallel to ground and angled. Again, this is just an unmodified Titan. The only thing that's been modified, obviously, is the uh, connection so that way it can fit these uh, smaller bore rockets. Alright, parallel. Not bad. Uh, that's actually between the two ranges for the Titan. I really like the spin. Oh, I don't know why I just took that off. I really like the spin on these new rockets. Uh, the way that he has the fins angled on there is uh, is really giving them a nasty spin that just makes them look pretty sweet. All right, here's rocket number two, angled. Yeah, these things are easily easily getting 10 more, 15 more feet than stock Titan rockets. So, um, it's, I mean, and it's a nice adapter and uh, just really, really happy with the way that these rockets turned out. So I wanted to thank Draconis for, uh, for making those and doing the Kickstarter project with these. And uh, that's my review on the, uh, on the new rockets, uh, stock versus Draconis's rockets. See ya.